Joseph, HP 3D printing, uh, available from Matsura here in the UK. You had um, what can only be described as a, a really successful year last year, didn't you? Yep. Um, wh why do you think that was? Uh, I think it's just the way we've approached it, really. We've approached it probably differently to a lot of um, 3D resellers of the past that, or have worked with HP in the past, in the sense that we've approached it from a similar way that we operate on the CNC side of the business. So not just selling a, a sort of machine and walking away, we sell a solution. So one of the things we always pride ourselves on here at Matsura is our service and support. And that's exactly what we've done on the 3D print side. And so what are the challenges that you're, you're facing and solving in order to prompt people to purchase HP machines, NJ? Yeah, so customers are coming to us a lot of the time when they have issues with either um, the speed that they can get either an injection mold tool made and then obviously the parts that they have injection molded so what this offers is a, um, a solution that basically you can take a part from design stage to printing and having the part in your hand very quickly and, and is this something that you you can walk people through successfully here by you know maybe encouraging them to to give you parts and to show well, for you to show them how quickly you can actually re-engineer and make these things, is that something you offer? Yeah, exactly, that's it. And that's something that we're trying to push a lot now, is that people who are often, you know, a lot of people want to get into additive manufacturing. They just don't often have a, a sort of a way of getting into it. So what we're saying to people is, yeah, bring your conventionally designed component. It could be either injection molded part, uh, CNC machine plastic component. Bring it to us and we can tell you how cost effective we can be how quickly we can produce these parts because I think that's what people often find is that they they just assume that um, we're going to be too expensive it's not going to be quick enough uh, because they often base it on like uh, I don't know a previous experience of additive manufacturing whereas HP's machines are just a whole different world now we can we can be really cost competitive against CNC or injection molded components. Because um, there's two areas to this, there's selling to new companies to change the way they, they think and also selling to current companies that do 3D print the differences in the technology that HP offer. The first one's really interesting and, and I think I can see so many opportunities for companies. Um, you talk about injection mold tools that need to be made, they can take weeks if the product needs reiterations, they can then need new things um, changed on the tool, can't they? But that also introduces other machines in the process that you might have to buy to do these yeah. things. There's massive savings on that in that scenario, isn't there, to just print the part straight away? Yeah, that's it. I mean, you, could, you can make a design change and it's literally, or you could have 10 different iterations of a design in, in, in uh, one build. So you can print those 10 designs, pick the one that you want to go with and start manufacturing. Of course, when you get up to a certain quantity, injection molding will take over. Um, but there's things that you can do on a, on a uh, HP 3D printer that you couldn't do on an injection molding machine or a CNC. So we want to encourage people to, to approach you and, and give you the opportunity to say, look, hey, we can, we can do this differently. Yeah. We can do this more cost effectively. That's it, and optimise the part as well, because you're, you are always restricted conventionally to certain uh, ways of manufacturing. You know, you've always got to get access for a tool or injection molding. You've always got to get that plastic out of the, the mold tool. Whereas with this, you, you aren't constrained by that sort of uh, design. You've got more of a design freedom. Yeah. And I think, yeah, obviously additive companies understand the design freedom that additive brings. Um, but yeah, what we're saying is if customers want to come to us, we'll help them show them the benefits and, and optimize components. And the second one that I mentioned there, and the final point here, companies that are 3D printing at the moment, they're now looking to HP as opposed to other technologies like SLS. Um, why is that? Yeah, I think it's because yeah, HP have come to, to the market with a process that is, is very quick, it's very streamlined. Um, if you look at a lot of the traditional sort of additive processes, a point to point, whereas HP uses this one pass system, so you're always going to take the same amount of time on each layer. Uh, so the only sort of um, increase in time is due to your build height. Um, so it's very easily scheduled. Um, everything is just very HP like it's always prompting you to do things you know with the build build unit system where it's on on a sort of um, a trolley type system you know you can be printing in one on, on the machine whilst you're loading the other one and it's then a quick switch and you can be printing again it's just continuous to industrial production 3d printing um, so what we're saying here then Joe people contact you 
um, and, and give you guys a challenge uh, which I'm sure you can probably solve for them. Yeah, that's it. You've got our expertise obviously here at Matsura with Pete and Ross and yeah, we can always call on HP because they have obviously user cases from all over the world.